this is Mohan Vamsi. I'm a business intelligence consultant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically pass values to parameters and variables in Informatica. Before starting this session, I would like to intimate the users who are not aware of creating mapping sources, targets, sessions, workflows in Informatica. Please go through my previous video so that you get some understanding on how to create these uh, basic objects and then this video will help you on top of on, on top of that so in this video i pre-built a, a mapping and i'm going to explain all that i created in this mapping in the session and in the workflow so this this mapping intent is intended to extract order information from a fact table so as a user i would like to see all the orders extracted from my fact table i also have one more requirement like to see only information pertaining to a particular period say like here my requirement is to view data starting from 01 to 12 that is all the orders in the year of 2001 so for this purpose i have dragged fact internet sales into the ma mapping designer so fact internet sales is my source over here and then i have clicked on mappings and clicked on parameters and variables and here i have created two parameters start date and end date and here we can find the basic difference between a parameter and a variable so parameter is a constant value defined before in before mapping runtime and variable represents a value that can be changed during mapping run. so i have selected data types as date time so i have, I have created two different uh, parameters here to create a new parameter simply click on this icon over here so here i have overridden the sql of the source by using a SQL override query. The SQL override query will be explained in the SQL Server Management Studio. So this is the SQL query which I have written. So in this query, like I'm in the first column, I'm changing the order date key from numer to date time. So If I execute here, so order date key is a number column here, and using this expression, using this expression, I'm I'm converting order date key from number to a date. And please concentrate on this where clause. So in this where clause, I'm passing a filter criteria which says that order date key between start date and end date which i'm which i'm going to pass to the parameter file so the values for start date and end date i'm, pa I'm going to pass to the parameter file in the next level i have used expression transformation we can find expression transformation and just click on this icon and click in mapping designer so we can see an expression uh, transformation so simply drag and drop the columns respective columns into the expression transformation remember the first column is a string so I know it's ina inappropriate but as I don't have a date time column I, I designated a string uh, and I have associated that column to the first column of the of my query the first column of my query is nothing but this order date so in this expression transformation i am going to convert the uh, the string value to an uh, date column so expression transformation is used for performing calculation between columns and also it's for changing data types of a column so here i am changing the data type of the string value 
using the true rate function so when we open an expression editor we can find number of functions over here so we have a lot of conversion functions and data cleansing functions, date functions, financial functions, numerical functions so out of these functions uh, I have taken two date function and I use this syntax so I'm, I'm going with a particular format mmdd by 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 format so I clicked on validate and so it got validated so my target contains order date order quantity and extended amount so I have linked up uh, respective columns from the expression transformation to the target uh, definition so the mapping construction is completed now let's look into the workflow manager in the workflow manager I created a session linking that mapping that we just created and in this I have designated the connections respective connections to the source and the target and here is the tricky part so to link the parameter variables in the SQL override we need to pass values to them so for that purpose like I have manually created a parameter file in this folder location and this parameter file contains this content say like test is the folder name I mean folder name in my informatica navigator say here it's a folder name and uh, dot workflow so I need to here I'm passing this uh, with parameter values at the workflow level so I can use this parameter variables across any session in my workflow and start date and end date are my parameter variables and uh, these are the values to the parameters so in the parameter file name provide the exact path so along with the file name provide the exact path where this parameter file resides so there are different formats of constructing the parameter uh, file so it's where we can assign a parameter value at session level or work at worklet level or maplet level or mapping level or a workflow level so this is the basic uh, stuff which which I am going to work upon. So here is the parameter file path, and I save that, and I link that variable to a workflow wf underscore test. Right click and say start task. I say start task here. So here some underscore m underscore variable started okay the session got succeeded over here so the total records are 1013 and uh, the total target success was 1013 so there you go so let's get into the session log and look at the source query So if you look at the source query here, so we are, we are able to see the exact query which which was written in the SQL right? But here the parameter values are replaced by the values which were which is passed uh, to the parameter file to validate that. So one zero one three rows were pulled from source to back to. Thanks for viewing this video. I hope you understood the parameter file concept at a basic level. In my next video, I'll show you how to dynamically construct a parameter file. Thank you so much. And if you have any queries, please write to me at 1c27 at the rate of gmail.com.